Lately, we've bought a cool pile of stuff on AliExpress, so let's take a look at it. I've been looking for something like this for a long time, and I finally found it. This is a USB 3.0 4-port hub made of aluminium alloy. It can be fixed at the desk side with a special clip. It connects to the computer with the cable which is included in the set. That's it! I was looking for a hub like this because it doesn't take up space on the desktop at all. This way I no longer need to reach the system unit to insert a flash drive. Now I have four ports right at my fingertips. If the computer power isn't enough, you can power it by connecting any smartphone charger. Even a USB fan will fit there perfectly during the warm summer days. I am actually very excited about this purchase. We also couldn't pass up on this soldering iron, which runs on the same fuel as a regular lighter. It starts up by a slightly more complex process than just a flame. We're going to show it off to you. First, we have to unscrew the gas supply a little, and then ignite the gas coming out of the mesh at the barrel. The flame disappears almost immediately after ignition, and the mesh inside starts to glow, probably due to the catalyzing process. This heats up the entire protective tube and the soldering tip. Its temperature is high enough to melt solder in a split second. You no longer have to worry about the outlet. You can take it with you wherever you go. Moreover, in comparison to an ordinary soldering iron, it is much easier to operate, because the distance from the handle to the tip in this case is much shorter. I refuel it with an ordinary camping gas cartridge using a needle from a syringe. It's quite cheap and can be used dozens of times. Let's imagine that we bought a coke, opened it, drank some and left the rest for later. But it's clear that coke won't stay fizzy and delicious for long, as it's no longer under pressure. Well, the Chinese have invented this soda cap just for these cases. Can you imagine that they were able to fit a full-fledged pump in such a small cap? You just need to screw it on instead of an ordinary cap, and press this button to press the air inside the bottle to create excess pressure. This way the gases won't escape from the drink. But I came up with another use for this cap. Do you remember the life hack we did with the bicycle valve, pump and a bottle for lifting weights? So with a cap like this, you don't need a valve or a pump at all. Just screw it onto the bottle and push the button to lift heavy furniture. It seems to be our dumbest and most useless purchase, but we just wanted to show what sort of trash can be found on Chinese shopping sites. It's a jacket cooler for beverage cans. It is supposed to keep it cooler longer. It looks cool, but I can't imagine anyone using it. Look, Stefan actually liked it. It's a bit large, but it'll do for a cozy house. Hey Cookie, how you want one too? After reading some reviews, I decided to replace my router with this brutal one from Xiaomi. It looks very unusual and has seven antennas, one of which is designed to search and connect to another Xiaomi device. I've been testing it for a while, so I definitely can say that it covers a pretty wide range. Just look at how huge it is in comparison to my old router. I spent a few dollars on such a cylindrical stainless bottle, which is apparently designed for carrying some drinks and tinctures. Due to its tiny size, the necessary liquid will always be at your fingertips, since the shape fits even into the smallest of pockets. In addition, it also has super durability. I think this bottle will be a good and affordable gift for your uncle or grandfather. I saw an ad and decided to buy this kind of a wrench for testing. It claims to unscrew a very large range of bolts, from 8mm in a diameter up to 22. At first I didn't believe it would work, 
but the wrench really did a job and unscrewed bolts of various diameters. However, due to its shape, some bolts can be difficult to reach. Besides, if the bolt is tightened too much, this wrench can slip off the edges of the bolt. In general, for a couple of dollars, it may even come in handy as an all-round option in an emergency. This is a sort of a magical device I got from China. It's a tube with some kind of a liquid and a stick that goes into it, and it's all designed for your toilet bowl. Let's take out the old fashion, which costs as much as several of our devices. Using toilet paper, it's necessary to wipe a small area of the toilet bowl. Then we open the lid of the syringe and place it inside the toilet bowl. And then magic happens just by turning the handle. Just look at what a beautiful little flower we get inside of our own toilet. Of course, it's not just for decoration. It consists of a gel that will be washed away little by little with each flush in order to kill bacteria and give off a pleasant scent. This flower will last about two weeks and from one syringe you can get as many as 10 of these flowers. I saw a similar thing in our stores, but it seems to be much cheaper in China. Given this, I think it will be a very good way to save some money on such toilet fresheners. I ordered this wonderful device from Xiaomi. This is a body massager, in particular a head massager. It has these soft removable attachments at the tips. Once turned on, they begin to make circular movements, effectively massaging the human skin. Cookie got here once he heard the sound of a massager, because cats like people are very fond of massages. Mostly, I use it to massage the head, it's a special kind of joy that gives you such pleasant feelings. Moreover, the stimulation of the skin and hair follicles improves hair growth and condition, especially on the second speed. It charges very easily. The stand is connected to power via USB Type-C. The massager with visible contacts is simply placed on the stand and then starts charging automatically. I used to store it on the stand right on my desk. That's all for today. Don't forget to write a comment and like the video.